That's a water fountain. What, what what, what, that's a water fountain. You go the same way. Hello, 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 and welcome to the show. It is recipe of the day, and we have a very special guest today with us. This is my buddy Lisa, 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 and we are going to, she's actually also a Gary and Lisa, and we are going to be making two, two yummy cheese appetizers today, because you know what day it is? National Wine and Cheese Day! So we are ready, we've got our wine and our cheese, and we are ready to get going here. So let me pull my people up here, and we will get started. So how is everyone on this beautiful Saturday while we get going here? Is that we, uh, today? Remember, to make comments, my Instagrammers, we got to make uh, comments on my Facebook page so we can talk to you. So anyway, welcome, and we are going to get started. Lisa is famous for a few things, but one of the things she's famous for is her Velveeta cheese roll. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. So proud to be famous. This is so proud. It's a proud moment. And uh, we, she has brought this cheese roll to so many things that we have done um, over the years. But one of the things when the title reps used to be able to bring things to our office meeting, she would bring this cheese roll and I was just enamored and fell in love. I'm sure I'm not alone. So she's going to show us how to make her secret Velveeta cheese roll. And then I'm going to make a fried brie today. So we are making mm -hmm. two yummy things. So while she gets started rolling out her brie, I'm going to get started, I mean, rolling out her Velveeta, pardon me, I'm going to get started here with our brie. Hey Jill, how are you? Welcome. The most important thing you need to realize is that you can also not just use Velveeta. There's a nice and cheesy that's the same thing, and it's about, I don't know, $8 cheaper a box. So <laughs> this is too big. You would want to cut this in half, so don't use a full one of these. Oh and my gosh, you can't use something besides Velveeta. I mean, no, come no, on. If oh no, you're going to go into processed no, no. cheese world, uh, let me tell you, you got to use the top Gucci brand. Yeah, Linda, <laughs> listen, listen. I'm telling you that the nice and cheesy is Velveeta. It's just a knockoff brand. Oh. So, and you'll see, what are you doing? Make it a total mess. Splish, splash, yeah, take, take it a bath. Mm -mm -mm. Long Saturday night, oh, do, 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 do. Rub, rub, I was something in the tub. Okay, so the people have problems with this is because they don't know how to roll it out. Now, if this cheese does not sit out, it will roll out and it will look just like a log cabin. I think Rhonda Holden made it and she said it looks like a log cabin. Is it, well, is it at room temperature or this is it is cold? room temperature. Room temperature, another key detail. I took it out this morning. You want to keep it out. I think Valveda cheese is, uh, will last till uh, the year 2056. Very good for your <laughs> earthquake preparedness. Velveeta. Yeah, it'll stand up in all, in all things. Um, I am rolling my whole wheel of brie here in an egg. I just uh, scrambled an egg here and I'm rolling it in on all sides. And now I'm going to use, I, uh, you can use panko, you can use breadcrumbs. I am actually took some gluten-free crackers that I like, these almond ones. These stones are the best crackers ever, but they happen to be uh, gluten-free almond. And I am rolling my brie in these gluten-free breadcrumb crackers that I made out of, cr out of crackers. Hey Nick, how are you? Teresa? Feels How like are you? playing with um, Play-Doh. That's what I really yes. like doing, it's like I'm playing with Play-Doh. Okay, the next thing we need is we need eight ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese. Uh, Knock-off brand is fine. Just slap that right on there. Uh, again, this has to be room temperature. So you just you just spread it out evenly. Spread it room out. Room temperature. Room temperature. Key. key, key, key. And then the third ingredient that you're going to need is Ortega green chilies. Now, you also can use an off-brand for that, but just remember that you have to drain them because if you don't drain them, then when you roll the cheese roll up, it'll just start oozing and dripping. So you definitely want to drain your Philadelphia cream cheese, I mean your uh, Ortega chilies. My, my assistant here is going to put that in the freezer for a couple of minutes while we um, finish our cheese roll here. Uh, so I have breaded our Three. And I'm going to move these out of the way so she can put her cheese roll in there. So here's the can, a large can. There's a small and a large can. Dump it right in after it's been, uh, take these little strings out. I don't like those. After, uh, this does not have to be room temperature. <laughs> because you usually keep your green chilies in the refrigerator all the time. All the time. 
for this particular day, we do not need this to be in there. Now this, everybody needs to look. This is the magic. This is the magic. Now, I know some of you are saying, I cannot believe that this is this simple to do, but this is all you do. Well, so after your one millionth cheese roll, it's simple. Yep. So look at it. Linda, watch. So you just pick it up. If it gets stuck, just peel it off of the wax paper and just tuck it. Peel and tuck. Peel and tuck. Feel it. Can I get up? Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Well, now I know why mine was so hard when I tried to do this. I tried to do it tighter. You can do them tighter, and it, they look nicer tighter. Now, I also take the... <laughs> I, also take, direction. I also take the sides off. And I know this sounds bizarre, but every time I make one, um, somebody from the house says, you're not leaving that here. So I give them a little, you know, just a little something. So you can either tuck it like this, Tuck, 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 and it looks like a little bedroom, like a little bed. You're making a bed. Or you can cut it off on the side like this. Do you have a little plate that we can put that on? I do. So we just put this on a little plate, and see how that is? That's got, like, nice little round circles in there. If you make it tighter, then it'll look even, even Instagram, more brilliant. Instagram, can you see it? And I mean, my Facebookers, there you go. Can you see and it? And let me put this on the other side. Okay. So now this is 100% complete and done. Take a look at it. It's just done. You just keep it in the wax paper. Fold it up nice and easy, just like that. Put it in your freezer. I think you have one in your freezer. I do have one in my freezer. We gonna, you want to put it on? Oh, let's put it on. We're going to put it on the plate here. Okay. And she serves it with only the fanciest crackers. Ritz. Ritz crackers, <laughs> baby. Really good. Nothing but the best around here. Poor Lisa. She doesn't know anything about Velveeta. She so I'll tell you my Velveeta story before I start with my... Actually, I should start frying my... Hold on. Let me put some olive oil in the pan here. There's Rhonda. Rhonda, baby! Rhonda. She's already done with her cheese roll. Where were you? <laughs> uh, we, needed a, we needed a picture of Rhonda's cheese roll. She sent that to me. I will tell you, uh, if, if I am allowed to come back on, I want to go over a bean recipe that I have. Ooh. And it's from my grandmother. With real lard. Yeah. Because, you know, what's not good with real and lard? And pork salt. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, what is that? Man. What's pork salt? Salt a heart attack? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. So For do you sure. have any Ritz? I do have some Ritz. Okay. Well, then we're just going to set that right here. I think I do. We'll All right. see. So would you like me to make another one? Or are you on to... I think I think we're good. Things. I think I want you to make me some um, pepper honey. So oh, I want you to I put um, a little bit like two tablespoons of honey in our little dish here and then crack me the pepper. Oh, like a, like a teaspoon of pepper and some honey, and I even got you a device here to mix it with, because okay, I am making a fried brie with pepper, honey, um, on top, and olives. It's going to be delicious. So my, my brie, you saw I breaded it. It's in the freezer for a second while I fry up the olives. So I've got some olive oil in the cast iron pan behind me, and I'm going to put in the olives, a jar. Um, these actually aren't pitted, but they're organic Italian green olives. They just look pretty. Ooh, so, how many teaspoons am I doing? Am I doing? Uh, I like one teaspoon of pepper and two tablespoons of the honey. Oh, you don't measure it. You just, <laughs> you just, just go. Oh, just go. Okay. <laughs> okay. I see how you work. Yes. And so then I've got my olives and some olive oil in the pan, and then I'm going to put in there um, some red pepper flakes, because you know. I love spice up these olives a little bit. Now in the cheese roll, when I have made it, I have also put in the middle rotel, drain some rotel and put it in. You can also use, I've also used fresh chopped jalapeno or serrano if you like it a little spicier. Um, but unless you know who your audience is, um, you might not want to make it that spicy. But I have used other things and rolled them into the roll. Um, so whatever your family likes and you love, put it in. You can also freeze these. They freeze beautifully. You can cut it in half and eat half now and save half. And now since we're all gonna be um, home, it looks like again with our kids, we just got the email too, um, we uh, might need to be making some lunches and things that are quick and snacks, and this will work great for that. So in my cast iron pan here, I've got the olive oil working, and I have the olives in, so I'm gonna fry those up and get them going here. Hey Rachel, how are you? And Jackie, how are you? Thanks for watching. Welcome. We're making cheese things today. We just made a Velveeta cheese roll. Nothing but the best around here. Why? Because it's National Wine, Wine and, and Cheese Day. <laughs> <laughs> I've not had that many.
many guests on the show because of the current situation, but it certainly is fun, especially when they bring wine. <laughs> and cheese. And cheese. And cheese. Right. What not? Oh, we did. We got the Rex. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at how little this is. Well, Rex likes that size because Rex and Gary love Ritz. And so to, uh, to avoid throwing out half the sleeve, which I've done more times than I want to tell you, right? I found these little baby ones that is better portion for my Ritz cracker eaters around here. Yeah, uh, 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 yes. me. Mm -hmm. So, oh my gosh, okay. this smells good. Did I do good with my little thingy body right there, or do I need more? I know yours. You can just look at it and see. Yes. Oh, we probably need some more. Just because we gotta cover our free wheel mm -hmm. with this. Mm -hmm. So, just here, give them those for, oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Velveeta. I'm a good assistant. Hey, Bruce, how are you? <laughs> Let me tell you my story about Velveeta, but let me swallow first. <laughs> so, when Gary and I were dating, we were going to Phoenix to meet his mom. His mom lives in Phoenix, so we're going to meet mom. I hadn't met mom yet. So we get to Phoenix, we get to her house, and she brought out the Velveeta and Rotel, you know, like in the microwave, the cheese dip with Fritos. And I was like, <gasps> What is this? This is so amazing. This is delicious. What is this? This is so good. I've never had this before. <laughs> and she looked at me and she was like, what is wrong with you? It's Velveeta. And I'm like, what's that? <laughs> well, I have, I have come to the party on Velveeta. So then when Lisa would bring these cheese rolls to our office meetings, oh my goodness, I tell you. You know, I am in love. So I thought it'd be so fun to have her on and have her make one because she gives this recipe to people and people can't seem to get the cheese rolled out. So now you know. Thank the you. Secret. There's a double benefit for being here today. Mm -hmm. It's also to make sure that you know how to make it now. My husband pulls this on me all the time. Can you make a cheese roll? Can you please make a cheese roll? You, you've seen me make it 1,000 times. In fact, the talent show, uh -huh. we made uh, cheese rolls for every table. I think, I don't know how many women I had putting cheese rolls together, I had to supervise the cheese rolls. We actually did like a hundred cheese rolls. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think I'm in the millionth mark. <laughs> well, and everyone's favorite, sorry Instagram, we're getting a, getting a little off base here, but technical, my, my crew is wor is working on, uh, on that here. So my, uh, yeah, we're a little crooked, but we're still there. <laughs> well, speak for yourself. <laughs> Okay, so I have um, the olives and the hot peppers going back there. Um, and so now I'm going to add the lemon zest. So I just, of course, picked a lemon off my tree because, you know, I'm such a gardener. I grew my own. And I zested it. So the zest of a lemon. And I just used a peeler and made big zest going in. And then we're going to put in about two tablespoons of capers going in. I didn't even know what a caper was until I got here. So you don't like veal piccata? Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm about as plain as they get. Show me a burger and fries. What's your favorite thing with cake with capers? Mine probably carpaccio. Oh, they always serve it with capers. Yo. Okay, that's raw meat. Me. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. There's a joke for you. I just got kicked out of of, of a secret cooking society. I spilled the beans. Ha, bom, bom, bom. No, Our comedian. I'm also going to put in about a uh, tablespoon of fresh thyme into our olives and uh, lemon zest and I kind of got it in the red pepper flakes. <laughs> okay, and I haven't even had one glass of wine yet. I'm like, woo! My roommate dressed. Okay, let me see this. My roommate dissed my cooking, so he walked out of the kitchen. So I threw a spice jar at the back of his head. He never saw a human. <laughs> so, uh, no, Did you stay up late to write these? No, I just actually took, pulled them out. So. I do have a really funny joke, but it's, a, it's, a, it's got a little more to it. Do you, 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 you have more? Go, okay. go for it. Okay, so here's a good one. So this uh, young man had a roommate, and he didn't. Uh, he wanted to make sure that his mom knew that it was just his roommate. It was a female roommate. He invited her over dinner, introduced her, and had a lovely evening, and everything was wonderful. And um, the mom brought over a nice dish to, to meet his roommate, and so they. She left, and she left the dish there, and then um, she did all the dishes and she cleaned and everything. 
and then she slid it under the pillow of the in the woman's room. Slid on the pillow. And about one, you know, one week or two weeks later, the girlfriend says to the guy, "I don't know where my plate went. Your, you know, your mom had a plate here, and I need to return it to her, and I can't find it." And so another week went by, and finally this son called her and said, "Mom, I'm not saying you did, and I'm not saying you didn't, but that plate is no long, nowhere to be found." And the mom says, "Son." I'm not saying you are sleeping in the same room. I'm not saying you aren't. But if she was sleeping in her own bed, she'd have found it under her pillow. That's <laughs> <laughs> PG-13. Sorry about that. Okay, oh, my go. gosh. <laughs> hey, Deb, how are you? And who all? I know. I'll be there. Vivian, how are you? Melissa, Rebecca, welcome. We're making two cheese things today in honor of wine and cheese day. And I've got the olives frying behind me. So I'm going to pull those off here. So, uh, would you like to put cheese? No, I'm good right this second. Like All right, while we do this, I need my, my stage hand though. Oh, that could be you to go get me the brie. Okay, the brie is in the brie. Oh, whoops, I'm making a mess here. Okay. Okay, this is the olives and the capers and the red peppers. And uh, they have been fried up. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. Very hot. And now I'm going to take a little more olive oil. So we took our brie, we rolled it in egg wash, we rolled it in breadcrumbs, put it in the freezer for a couple of minutes, and I'm going to heat up a little more oil here, and we're going to give it a quick fry. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. What do you Paper do with smells this? so good. With all this food that you make, what do you do with this? Well, do you eat it? We eat some, we give some away. <laughs> we, uh, food. we have Try to share. We try to share the food. I've made a couple of the recipes. They were so good. I love that corn. Uh, was it cornbread and hot dogs? Oh, that was, that was a hit. Winner, so the, winner. The kids love that uh, that one too. The corn dogs in the corn um, bread mix. Celery, oh my gosh. Yeah. And sage. That's good. Oh, okay, so this baby, my wheel of brie here that's been breaded, is going in. Wheel. Wheel. Of brie. Woo! Yes. So now what does that do? We're going to fry it up. Yeah. And uh, it's going to get crispy on the outside. And then we will put it on the serving plate and put our olives and things on top with our peppered honey on top. And that will be our yummy brie appet appetizer. Oh, it's so equal to the Velveeta cheese thing. I mean, they're <laughs> in the same glass. I thought we really? should hit two ends of the spectrum. So to serve that, I have this beautiful sourdough bread. I thought I'd just show you some options on what to serve it with. And I had this beautiful loaf of sourdough that we used the other day for our grilled cheese. So you cut it into little triangles and cook them, you know, till they're like Melba, maybe 10 minutes or so in the oven. Um, and if you want to make them even fancier, you can put a little garlic butter on there or a little olive oil. But you're serving it with such a creamy thing with cooked brie. Um, I didn't think you probably need to doll them up, but you could. So you cook these and make them cute. Um, I also have, for serving that, these, um, I like these take and bake um, sourdough rolls. The I got the small ones because, you know, again, I can use one and not have to waste the other half of one. Um, but you slice and then slice these up into little rings you know, like you would use for to serve on. Put them on the tray, bake them in the oven for, you know, 10 minutes or so until they get a little bit, you know, toasted. And then serve those with your brie. So that's another choice. And I like these that are take and bake because if you it just makes them a little crispier than using one that's already cooked and then you slice it. And plus, it's easier to slice, too, than kind of the French bread that's so squishy. Mm -hmm. It's easier to slice. And Come another tip, that. use a serrated knife. Another tip, which if I had really been um, at Vaughn's, they have the slicers in the bakery, and they will slice it for you. I slice it one size smaller than sandwich slice, and you have yourself quick and easy, and it doesn't go squished when you use the bread slicer. The so there's another learn. tip. <laughs> and it saves you about 20 minutes of slicing it yourself when you're having a party have it a party, just give it to the lady at Vons. But the bread slicer at the Midtown Vons is out of order, just FYI. Public service announcement. I thought you were going to say Midtown Fair, and I started crying. Oh, uh, don't, don't bring up the fair. Oh, it's not for our beautiful thing. Hey, Tim, how are you? There's a real chef. There's a real chef watching us have fun. Oh, well. And Susan, how are you? Tim probably is so impressed with the Velveeta The Velveeta cheese. cheese roll, Tim. Hey, there's a new recipe I'm sure you haven't done yet. Velveeta cheese roll. And then I'm, I'm making this fried brie yumminess that's going to have our, our olives and lemon 
chicken zest and capers on top of that here in a second. But let's see what's going on here. I got that little, that uh, uh, Lee said for my birthday, got me this really cool, is that scraper? Was that a scraper? That scraper. To die for. Oh my God. You know she's a chef when I'm using a bench scraper here uh, uh, on the show. And she's like, what is that? What is that? I'm like, what is that? <laughs> it's a bench scraper. Yeah, she still invited me on. This is pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to go buy her one. I went to the restaurant supply here in Ventura. We have one. It's really cool. And right next to the bowling alley, for those of you that have never been there, it's open to the public. And for me, it's like a kid in the candy store. But I went there to get her a bench scraper. <laughs> Who knew? I'm the one that's watching the show. Usually you'll see me and I'm like, what's that? What is that? What'd you put in there? Why does it look like that? What is that? What do you use that for? I'm, I'm, I'm sure they're both going, get her off. Get her off of there. I met Lisa and Gary, what, 15 years ago? It was More, about 15, almost 20. 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. I'm sales representative for Fidelity Title. I come into their office and call on them and help uh, give property information. And um, I know Lindy very well. And so, it's you know, it's just an honor to be a part of their team. They take such good care of their clients, and they take such uh, great care of uh, your affiliation people, like your escrow and your title people. So I, I, just Go wanna, team. I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you. There's not a lot of people that would, you know, invite someone like me on their show that doesn't cook on a cooking show. Well, I didn't Why cook. I, I, that, like this. I, that, I was going to make you sing, right? Oh. <laughs> Ripped it. <laughs> really? Wow. Really? Did, you, did you have a song in mind? Mm, yeah. I don't know. We probably, we probably should have thought of like a cooking song. Oh, is there a is cooking song? Food? Because I like a margarita song. No, or a, no, no. Something? No, I can't even think of a cooking song. There's not even a okay. cooking song. We should come up with a cooking song. <gasps> hey, do you know what else I thought of? What? Somebody can make a lot of money with this. Think about this. You know the masks that we're wearing. Sometimes, like, you can't put it on your ear. Like, it just hurts your oh ear. Oh, my gosh, totally. Somebody needs to come up with a mask that just sets on your face with, like, a little sticky. Just like a sticky. Just so it, you know, it breathes and everything, but it has a little sticky on the around the outside. I so have a call that I can make about that, but I will keep it to myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do that. Yeah. Think about it. Then you don't have to put it on your ears, and, you, you know, they um. see people's ears folding and doing all this stuff. Oh. So whoever comes up with that, please let me know, and I'll be happy to take some sort of monetary, um, you know, value. Royalty. Yeah, royalty. royalty. So uh, on the shout out to Fidelity, your favorite escrow officer, Rhonda Holden, is feeling left out that we did not give her a shout out. So shout out to another me member of our, our team, our escrow team, Rhonda Holden, and thank you for opening three escrows for us yesterday. That's three escrows on Friday. We love Fridays like that. So you have to, you know anyone who's thinking about buying or selling real estate, investing in real estate, we really need inventory. So you know who you have for your title rep, escrow, real estate, we make a great team. And it's National Wine and Cheese Day. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just had it. But it also is, by the way, little tidbit of the day, it is National Day of the Cowboy. And, you know, I'm married one, so you know, we're celebrating him today, my handsome cowboy husband, direct off the plains from Oklahoma. It's burning. Um, it's burning? Yeah. Don't, oh. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I, see, I'm least good for something. Hold, okay, <laughs> hold that. So I don't want it to burn. Oh yeah, okay. So get that out of the pan. Cast iron pan, very hot. So here we go. We have our brie that we have um, fried up, we bread it and fried it, the whole roll, and then on top here I'm going to put our olives. Oh my gosh, look at this. Don't worry, I'll live. You'll live? Yeah. I'll live. Oh, olive. Ha ha ha, she's quick with the, with the one-liners today. And then on top of that we're going to put our, we put a teaspoon of fresh uh, black pepper in here and two tablespoons of honey, and we're going to put that over the top of this. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Sugar, sugar, da 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 da. You are my candy girl, and you got me wanting you. Okay, that's just stop. Sugar, da 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 da. Oh my gosh. Yum. Okay, so there we go. We have Velveeta cheese roll, and we have fried whoops brie with olives and capers and lemon zest. That's what happens. Oh, here you go. 
Let's put it down. Oh, that's what's at the bottom of the plate. <laughs> Ooh, it's well, hold on. I have to taste this, right? Wow, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful, beautiful huh? Oh you my know, goodness. That looks, those little peas that are capers, they look like peas. These beautiful, look at these paper thin little crackers. Kelly White, thanks for the turn on to these crackers. And I'm just going to put a little piece of our brie on here with a little caper. Here you go, you can oh, taste that. Yes, thank you. Okay, all right. And I'll make one here. Wet. <laughs> I didn't lick it. <laughs> Besides, I'm not sick. Okay, mm. there we go. Mm. Taste mm. this. Mm. Mm. It's almost as good as this Dalby cheese. <laughs> almost. So, no matter which end of the spectrum you want to impress your guests with, we got it going on here today. So, our birthday shout outs, we have quite a few today so let's do our birthday shout outs and let me get my hat on here why are you putting your hat out i know it's not not on your list but it's my niece's birthday day. oh well give her a shout out woo, woo. sophie sophie stock happy birthday it's your birthday it's, it's your birthday it is happy birthday well, wait till i do them all then okay, you can go. say okay so my first birthday shout out is to my nephew parker woo. my favorite nephew is 17 today from Texas, so we love having him here. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Will, another friend of Rex's. And then we also have happy birthday today to Don Diaz, dear friend. And it is also Gary Kunis's birthday today, one of my old friends from Cisco. So it is your birthday today. So now, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. birthday shout outs for tomorrow just because we won't be here tomorrow and that is to Tess Middlebrook my little sister in love who has been a guest on the show happy birthday to you new mama and also happy birthday tomorrow to Erica Kuhlman dear friend and neighbor and then also to Christina Benega happy birthday so hope you have a great day tomorrow so we um uh Lisa was kind enough to generous to bring our giveaway today we have a special giveaway, so tell our peeps, if you have liked or commented on these um, shows, then you are in the pool for the giveaway. So today, tell them what they're getting today. This little handy dandy avocado printer, uh, pitter, cutter, and slicer. It'll slice, dice, vita veggie vegemin. Oh, that's a two different <laughs> <show>. <laughs> Sorry. And some Fidelity National Title socks. Who would not want the Fidelity National Title to cover your feet and all of your title insurance needs? I had to throw that one in. Of course. Of this one is my very favorite. And of course, this one matches the socks. But it's good time because if you want to head out to the beach, just go ahead and bring your Fidelity National Title beach bag. Yes, this is yours. And it exactly the same, but it does match the socks because the socks are blue and the bag is blue. So who's the So we will winner? see who our winners are today. You feeling it? You feeling it? Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, who well, I did Parker's birthday first. Oh, do I get to pull it? Yeah, don't look. <gasps> Sorry. Don't Sorry. look. Let's see. I won one time. I won one time. Oh, yeah, I, you're I was back very excited. In there. So Jen Pensinger, you're the winner today. So thank you guys for watching, and remember, the only two things you can control are your effort and your attitude. So always pick a good one and always do your best, and you can find these uh, recipes. We will post them down below here and also on our YouTube channel, Ventura Real Estate. So please go and subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel because we're almost to 1,000, and then we can broadcast live on YouTube. So thanks for watching. We are here Wednesdays and Saturdays live at 3 o'clock, and we love seeing you here. That's Cheers. Wine and cheese day.